guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about what you can see on the board behind me. Um, the hardest subject at A level, some might say. I mean, who knows what is the hardest subject at A level, but apparently this is on the list. Um, a level further miles, hi, welcome. Um, yes, I did. Um, yes, mm -hmm. I am one of those people. So today, in today's video, I'm going to be kind of giving you the rundown of what your first year of A level further maths will be like if you so choose to do it. I'm fully qualified to tell you this as I have done it myself and I have survived the full year of A level further maths. So with him spilling the tea on A level further maths as you can see from my cup. It's a maths cup. Not tea, it's hot chocolate, but I mean shh. <laughs> um, oh. What a year. What a year. I went into this year having no clue. I had no clue. Let's be honest. Um, after doing GCSE for other months, of course, I went into this year thinking, what's it going to be like? You know, how hard is it going to be? Is it going to be as hard as everyone says it is? Whew. Was I in for a treat? So, the way my school did. Um, and someone just left the house. Goodbye. The way we still do it is you have three different teachers one for pure maths, one for mechanics, and one for statistics. And so you have four periods with pure, two of mechanics, two of statistics. So you get eight total split course content or split course percentage wise. So 50, 50 25, 25. Um, hmm. You get into the routine of going to the classes at the time and you don't realise how quickly you have to go through the content. And you don't realise how quickly time flies. Like, hold on a second. See, when you get to A level, time flies. If you don't realise it, the time is gone. Um, so we started with... In Pure, we started with looking deeper at quadratics. And you can make new quadratic equations if you want the roots to be of a different kind. And for example, if you have a quadratic, um, say it's like, well, we'll just use a general quadratic, a ax squared plus bx plus c. If it has roots alpha and beta, as in if x is equal to alpha and x is equal to beta, what if you wanted the same quadratic to change that quadratic into one that has roots alpha over 5 and beta over 6? So we did questions like that. Um, one of the formulas is written there. Alpha squared plus beta squared is alpha plus beta all squared minus two alpha beta. And um, things like that. That's the first thing you do. And you're like, all right, a lot of algebra, a lot of algebra. Mm -hmm. Hard to check things when you end up with imaginary numbers. Uh -huh, yeah. Then you do then you do imaginary numbers and you're like, ah, hmm, imaginary numbers, imagine that. Um, we now call them complex numbers because they do exist. Um, meanwhile, in mechanics, we're doing springs and strings. I hated it. Let me just tell you that it's okay if you can't do it. Because I, for the first maybe four months, when's that? September, October, November, December. I couldn't do mechanics. Like, I thought I'm not going to make it through to do this exam. Guess what, we're now don't have to do it this time around. But I I was literally ex so worried about having to go do this mechanics exam. I'm fine now. <laughs> but I had a designated crying period in study where I would try and do some work for mechanics and I would break down every time. Um, yeah, my parents can tell you. My mom especially, who's a maths teacher. I came home like, being like, I need you to help me with this mechanics. Um, statistics, it flies by. You, like, we were taught stuff so quickly and given homework on it, and that's it, you, you know it. Just keep reminding yourself, it's weird. Further mouths, it's weird. It's amazing, and I absolutely adore it. But like, whoa. Um, so content, that's pretty much content summary, summarised, but I will say, further maths is extremely difficult. You don't want to start it and then drop out because then you'll feel like, 
I could have done further miles. You want to make your decision now. You want to say, I'm going to either do further miles or I'm not. I would recommend you do do it. You can drop it after I guess. But like, it's hard. Uh, it, it's very hard. But it's so much fun. Like, it is so much fun. I love it. Like, some of the questions I come home and I'm like, yes, I want to do this homework. Um, calculator time. Say goodbye to this guy. The generic grey calculator. No. Say goodbye to the purple one. If you ever got one of these, no. Um, the paint, the white class whiz one. Yes. I went bought myself this one, the beast as they call it. Um, sixty nine quid on Amazon, or off not off Amazon. No, it was one hundred and eleven on Amazon. Um, sixty nine off eBay. Nice. This guy. Um, you know, color. Just if I can get the light to shine properly. You can't really see that, but color display. Um, it does matrices in a lot of detail. Um, you can turn your matrices as well. <laughs> Love it. Um, graphs, dynamic graphs, equations, it can solve stuff for you. It can do um, sextuple simultaneous equations if you want that. You know. Um, what else do we have? Uh, we, I mean, there are games, like you can play games on it. There's a periodic table, probability simulator, conversions, geometry. It's great. And I love it. And I would highly recommend, if you have the money, go buy it. Because I saved up for it. And bought it. I think. Or I was given it as a present, I can't remember. I either, there was something I saved up for this year. Times are, I can't remember everything, but like, I it was either given that as a Christmas present, <laughs> or I saved up and bought it. I can't remember which. But, like, go buy it. Um, I would really recommend it. You don't have to have it, but I would really recommend it. It makes stuff so much easier, especially statistics. So much easier. Um. Yeah, what else do I talk about? I talk about the exam. Okay, you're reverting back to old school exam papers where you just get given the questions and answer and file paper. You get used to it pretty quickly when your like, exam is like four pages long. <laughs> it's like, well, actually, no. There are four different applied units. So there's mechanics one, mechanics two, statistics, and discrete decision. I did mechanics one and statistics because our school likes to stick to the norms. Um, and you just do your two sections. You do not do more than two sections. You do not attempt mechanics two because they'll mark it. You do not attempt discrete decision, no matter how weird and wacky it may look. Don't. Um, you will probably be pushed for time because there's a lot of questions for limited marks. Um, you can get the occasional twelve marker, especially mechanics. You can get like a cheeky fourteen mark question. You're like, huh? hope I can do this. <laughs> Um, in pure is like do this matrix transformation for 10 marks and you're like, <laughs> um, like find any invariant lines under this matrix transformation you're like <laughs> yes um, transform this curve by this transformation matrix you're like stop um, vectors I vectors are my least favorite thing in pure maths I'm getting used to it things like look there is a line going through a plane where does it intersect I can do that Two planes intersecting, not as easily. Um, do these planes intersect? Well, that's what you do in matrices. Um, weird things. But the exam, you'll be very pushed for time. The questions are hard. You have to use what you learn, as in you have to learn the detail rather than do be able to just do questions. You also have to learn the detail. And there are some proofs you have to learn, which I didn't yet. <laughs> Lol. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, <laughs> thinking about that, like, oh, no, but oh, yeah, for the maths, it's fun, I love it, but be careful. Um, I would say if you got an A or an A star in further maths, you'll be fine because your maths accelerates so quickly at this point. Um, your ordinary maths accelerates so quickly at this point, too, like, you'll be amazing at it, you'll be able to fly through the work the teacher sets. Not joking. You'll be like everything will become so easy, except for further maths, of course, because uh, it's not. I will say, 
it's pro like my favorite class is my double for the month first tune on Thursday. I love it because it's not chill at all, but it's nice, and you get hard questions. And I always looked forward to doing more of the maths, learning more of the maths, and I can't wait for next year to do even more maths. But like, whoo, whoo, it's something else. But that's all I've got time for today. Um, there's really not a lot to talk about with further maths, but if you have any questions about a little further maths, leave them in the comments, and I will try and answer every single one. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content. I try to upload as much as possible, usually Mondays and Fridays for educational content. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.